Anticipation is mounting in the state capitol as a beloved spectacle makes a comeback after years away. Thanks for joining us for this New Year's Eve edition of Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Marshall Keeley. Celebrations are underway across the country and here in South Central PA. Folks in downtown Harrisburg are excited for the return of a holiday tradition and restaurants are preparing for the biggest night of the year. Signs of the season are all around at Aruga's Grill House and Sports Bar on 2nd Street in Harrisburg. Employees put the final touches on the decorations and loaded up the grill, anticipating a New Year's Eve celebration for the ages. We have a ton of nice drink and food specials and we're looking forward to a lot of people coming out and enjoying the entertainment that we're offering. Excitement for the new year is heightened in Harrisburg as the annual strawberry drop returns to the downtown for the first time since it welcomed the year 2020. With the normal festivities ready to go, Aruga's is serving up food inside and out, slinging delicious hot dishes well into New Year's Day. Harrisburg is back. The weather is going to be good, a little light drizzle, but otherwise this is going to be the most fun we've probably had in a long time. It's a similar scene a few doors down at Cafe Fresco. It's, uh, if not the biggest night of the year, one of the biggest nights of the year. We found waiters taking orders and bartenders serving up cocktails just before the evening rush as the 2023 celebrations at Cafe Fresco and one floor up at the Level 2 nightclub kicked off. Owner Brian Furtenball has been waiting for a night like this. With all the restrictions still being in place somewhat last year, even, uh, you know, we, we really haven't seen what we hope to see tonight for about three years. With the traditional celebrations back in town, the restaurant is almost fully booked. Furtenball says it's the best problem he could hope for as 2023 draws near. We've got a ton of reservations tonight. We don't have a lot of room for walk-ins, but uh, you know, there is going to be some foot traffic because of the strawberry dropping, so we're hoping that that brings the crowd down and that the weather isn't a factor there. Several businesses downtown are offering extended hours tonight as the party continues into the morning. 